Hello and welcome to the channel. I hope you're all okay. If your season hasn't started yet, hang on in there. I'm sure we won't have long to wait. The flies that we tie and fish with in Spain often start off life in the higher echelons of uh, competition fishing and then they filter down. And when I say higher echelons, I'm talking about world champions like David Arkai, Jordi Oliveras, Pablo Castro, and many others. And they filter down through competitions and fishing buddies, and they end up in an awful lot of fly boxes. And this fly is no different. Uh, it is designed for still water fishing, and it's uh, a hair's ear nymph. Uh, this happens to be a size 14, and uh, I'm going to tie it in a size 14 also on this occasion. However, if you wish to tie it in a larger hook, uh, a 12 or a 10, that's entirely up to you. Now I'm going to be tying with uh, black thread and this is 12-0. And I'm gonna start that just a little bit behind the eye, a mil or so. Wind on the thread and trim up the excess. Now for the tail of the nymph, I'm going to use Coq de Lyon, Gaillot de Lyon, and it's quite a chunky fly, so I shall take off uh, eight or ten fibres. And tie those in. Now the length of the tail would probably be a little bit longer than you would normally tie for a nymph. But a longer tail in this instance should help with the stability of the fly. Like so, and trim off the excess. Now for the gold rib, I'm not going to use wire. I'm going to use a flat tinsel, try and keep the weight down. And this is a uh, gold prismatic tinsel. You can use whatever tinsel you like. And I'll tie this in. Wind it down. And trim off the excess. Let's put that in the spring. And wind back down to the rear of the fly. Yeah. Now the term hairs ear I think has become quite generic in its meaning and I'm going to be using a mix and this mix is of hairs ear, it is of uh, squirrel, rabbit and it creates quite a nice bushy mix and it has some guard hairs in it also, which are going to come in handy. And we'll wind this on. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there just to make it a little bit thicker. Up to the thorax area. Wind it down. And now for the rib, probably not too many turns, three, possibly four, depending upon the size of the hook that you're using, of course. And tie that off. And trim up the excess. Right, now, before I go any further, I'm just going to brush out this hair's ear, or this mix. Try and avoid the thread. And really what I want to do is make sure that the hair comes out and just really shows a little bit of the gold rib. It doesn't need to be anything too ostentatious. Yeah. 
Now for the thorax cover, I'm going to use some uh, black foam. And uh, this is about two mil. I'm just going to trim up the ends for tying in. Right, and I'm going to tie this on at the side. And as I tie, it should come over to the top. So, now for the thorax, I'm going to use some uh, some more of the hair mix. I'll dub that on. And create the thorax. Now it's important not to have the thorax cover too close to the eye of the hook. Right, now before I tie on the thorax, I'm going to put in some wings and this will be with a uh, CDC feather. And what I'm going to do is pull back these fibers to expose the tip. and take out the tip of the feather, like so. And pull these fibers forward. I'll get rid of some of these at the bottom, get them out of the way. And we are left with something like that. Now the amount of fibers for the wing is entirely up to you. Try and keep them as even as possible and we'll tie those on. Now you don't want these longer than the length of the fly. Okay, so I'll just put that on top and tie it in. And trim off the excess stalk. And so now separate the fibers so that they go either side and pull over the thorax cover. And trim up the excess foam, bind it down and create the head. Before I tie that off, I'm going to put just a little bit of glue onto the thread. And tie off the fly. and trim up the tying thread. Right, before I go any further, I am going to brush out a bit more of the uh, thorax and the wings at the side. So, and I'm going to put just a just a little drop of uh, UV onto the head. Like so. And give that a zap. It's just a, a fibre there which I'm going to get rid of. And there you have the finished fly. It's a fairly simple tying, but very, very effective. And uh, as I said, the foam cover will just keep it upright at the right level and stop it twisting when you are retrieving the fly. So I hope you enjoyed the tying. Uh, 
do, if you're not a subscriber, hit the bell. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for viewing. Bye.